This tutorial will provide a brief overview of the features of the Butler home screen. The Edit button is used to edit the patterns in your quilt area. Edit will prompt you to add a pattern when no patterns are loaded onto your quilt area. Another way to add patterns is from the Home menu, located here. Selecting Add Pattern will take you to the Pattern Preview screen. Selecting a pattern from the menu at left will display a pattern preview at right. Press Select Pattern to add the pattern to your quilt area. The Edit menu displays all the ways you can edit a pattern whenever a pattern is already loaded onto the quilt area. The Needle Up, Down, and Stitch Regulator icons are used to test connections with your machine's stitch regulation. H and V are used to lock the needle horizontally or vertically using the machine belts. SPI appears if your stitch regulator is compatible with Butler. From here, you can set the desired stitches per inch. The needle is the stitch controller icon. When this icon is selected, any trace performed with the green go button will stitch the pattern. The green go button and the red stop button, which is currently grayed out, are used to trace, stitch, and stop stitching patterns. The green button starts a trace, while the red button stops a trace. The sewing machine provides access to any compatible stitch regulation user interface. If the stitch regulation user interface isn't compatible with Butler, then this icon will not appear. The magnifying glass contains options that affect the view on the screen. Zoom All fits all the patterns on the screen, while Pan allows you to pan around the quilt area. The tablet and pencil menu contains many features. The Save Layout and Save Layout As will save your quilt area and all pattern boxes. Move All will move all patterns in the quilt area while keeping their relative spacing. Auto Center will automatically center a pattern in a pattern box. Nest will be discussed later. Create Set Point saves the position, size, and placement of all of your patterns and pattern boxes so that you can recover them later using Restore Set Point. Undo will undo the last action you have taken. The Home Menu Pattern View will return you to the screen showing the quilt area. New Layout will create a new project with a new quilt project. Open Layout will open previously saved projects. File Manager accesses files such as patterns on the USB, SD card, or internal memory. Freemotion records Freemotion quilting as a digital pattern to be used later. Setup accesses many backend settings. Set Quilt Area resets the dimensions of the quilt area. Pattern Box adds or removes pattern boxes, and Demo is used for commercial purposes. So that is a quick overview of the home screen. In the next tutorial, we will go over how to add and remove patterns, and how to import and export files.